Many of you probably know dishes like chop soy, general sauce chicken, orange chicken aren't actual Chinese dishes you find in China. I hope this channel will eventually get through all these what I call ABCDs, American born Chinese dishes. Today I will talk about a very interesting one that has taken on many forms like a vessel for Americans to freely imagine what an Asian dish could be like, Chinese chicken salad. Hi, my name is Christy and this is the American Chinese Food Show. The earliest mention of a Chinese chicken salad recipe in newspapers showed up in 1931. Arrange the chicken, pineapple and almonds in a mold, add the chilled gelatin liquid and place in refrigerator to set. Garnished with lettuce or chicory and served with a dressing of whipped cream, chili sauce and horseradish. So Chinese chicken salad was a jello salad at the beginning. Jello salads became popular around the Great Depression in America because housewives can use leftover meat and vegetables and repurpose them into new dishes. I don't know why this dish is Chinese. Maybe the pineapples, the almonds. A few years later, we see Chinese chicken salad became something else. Diced pineapple, almonds, chicken fold in together as a mixture with heavy cream and sour marinade. Freeze then cut in cubes. Why is this also Chinese? I don't know. Were Chinese restaurants serving chicken salad during this time? Yes, but not as Chinese chicken salad. This is the menu from Canton Lo in San Francisco in the 1930s. It's just good old American chicken salad on the American side of the menu, along with other salads like sliced tomato salad and lettuce heart salad. Only in 1938, the first recipe that resembles more of an Asian dish came along in the Los Angeles Times. Dice cold cooked chicken, boiled bean sprouts and drained cold water, chop some celery, season with salt and pepper and French dressing, chill, serve with mayo flavoured with soy sauce. As I was reading it, I was like, oh, so like chop so until the mayo comes in. Even Safeway provided a similar Chinese chicken salad recipe in 1947. But the gelatin version persisted over the 1940s and 50s as housewives across the country from Cincinnati to Honolulu submitted similar recipes of quote-unquote Chinese chicken salad to cooking columns in their local newspapers. There are at least a dozen variations with different dressings like cranberry sauce with whipping cream, tomato juice and more. So okay, let's back up. What kind of salads do we actually have in China? Well, if the definition of salad is cold dish with raw vegetables, we don't really have any. But there are cold dishes, usually appetizers, in many of our different provincial cuisines in China. And among them, there's usually at least one cold chicken dish. We have a few chicken dishes served at room temperature in Cantonese cuisine. There's poached chicken, bak gai, a staple at restaurants that sell Cantonese barbecue dishes. There's also the Dongjiang salt baked chicken. A Hakanese dish, you bake a whole chicken in hot salt, debone, then dip the chicken pieces in grated sand ginger to eat it. Then there's hand shredded chicken, sao si gai. You make Cantonese hand shredded chicken by steaming the chicken, then shred it to thin pieces, mix it with sugar, chili oil, and usually mustard. I don't know the origins of the Cantonese hand shredded chicken, but it feels like it, it was influenced by Sichuanese cuisine. Sichuanese cuisine itself has a few distinct cold chicken dishes. Strange flavor, guai wei chicken, ma la chicken, and bang bang chicken. Strange flavor gets its name because it includes savory, sour, spicy, and numbing tastes in a balanced way. Strange flavor chicken dressing has vinegar, sesame paste, and chili oil. Mala chicken with the nickname saliva chicken because it's so tasty and makes people salivate has a different dressing that includes chili oil with peppercorn, vinegar, sesame oil instead of paste, garlic, ginger and you top the dish with crushed peanuts and sesame seeds. The last one, bang bang chicken, has a similar dressing as mala chicken but it's called bang bang because that's the sound the chef makes when he or she tenderizes the chicken with a stick. Depending on the chefs, you might get a pile of cilantro, chopped lettuce, or cucumber, or liangpi, cold skin noodles, underneath the chicken. Now you kind of have a sense of what the chicken's quote-unquote salad dishes in China are like. Let's jump back to the Chinese chicken salad we have in America. 
The first time Cantonese hand-strapped chicken shows up in a menu of a Chinese restaurant in America that I can find is from the Moon Cafe in San Francisco, which we talked about in a previous episode, in about late 1930s, early 1940s. But I don't see this dish anywhere else until it suddenly showed up as Sai Si Gai in the 1960 all over restaurants in the West Coast as a reincarnation of Chinese chicken salad. The culinary SOS column in the Los Angeles Times in the 1960s and 70s allowed us to see how different restaurants in LA use different recipes for Chinese chicken salad. Jade West used hoisin sauce in a dressing and top with crushed almonds. Far East Terrace used vinegar. Shanghai restaurant added preserved sweet red ginger strips. George Lim, owner of the Kowloon restaurant, provided a recipe for his sesame seed oil dressing that includes Chinese plum sauce, white wine vinegar, and dry mustard. This dressing feels like it's based on Sichuanese mala chicken, but dumbed down, taking out the spiciness with a touch of Cantonese taste more familiar to the American palate, adding some sweetness with the plum sauce. Le Grand Fay, a French restaurant, uses a Dijon sherry dressing. Sai Siga also started popping up in restaurants in San Francisco at the same time, such as the Empress of China. Their version used oyster sauce and honey. James Beard wrote about eating the dish at Cannes and how the secret to Chinese chicken salad is coriander. If you look closely, there is a very distinct addition of this West Coast Chinese chicken salad that appeared in the 1960s from all the cold chicken dishes in China we just covered fried rice stick noodles that add some crunchiness. How did this version come about? We don't know. Cantonese cuisine uses fried rice stick noodles in some dishes to add texture like lettuce wrap or minced beef balls as a rice porridge topping. Maybe a clever chef knowing Americans love everything crunchy experimented with this cheap topping to add a punch to an otherwise delicate dish. Don't have access to rice sticks? No problems, you can use a can of fried noodles like in this recipe provided by Tucson's Woman of the Year of 1955, Mrs. Tang. You can also use fried spaghetti or vermicelli according to this iceberg lettuce advertisement from 1979. Chinese chicken salad continued to be popular in America, especially as a party dish throughout the 70s. Show off for guests with the Chinese chicken salad, one of the best dishes originated in China and may be served as a luncheon salad or as a buffet dish. We continue to see many creative takes on this dish by Americans, appropriating it to their needs, like stuffed into a cantaloupe cup made with potato or rice or even kiwi, or rebranded as a healthy choice, an oriental salad salvages nutrition. A hot Chinese chicken salad won the 25th annual National Chicken Cooking Contest in 1974. Mrs. Luz developed her recipe quote unquote, while perfecting her stir fry technique. She won $10,000 for that recipe. Even the Jello salad version somehow made a comeback. But American housewives became more well versed with Chinese cooking, so soy sauce is used, slices of water chestnuts are added. You know you have made it to the American mainstream when you show up in menus of big chains. At the height of his popularity in the 1990s, 60 years after the first published record of a Chinese chicken salad, that's exactly what Chinese chicken salad achieved. Here are the versions from Cheesecake Factory and Wendy's. So, Chinese chicken salad is whatever you make it to be. It might sound underwhelming to you today, but I'm going to end today's episode with this quote from 40 years ago. Next to the dinosaur stick, Chinese chicken salad is probably one of the oldest recipes known. We can no longer prepare the former, but the popularity of the latter continues even though the idea is centuries old. Why is this salad such a hit? Simply because it's a can't-miss combination. Succulent shredded chicken light-coated with a sweet sour dressing, piled high atop crisp lettuce and other vegetables. It's easy to prepare, nutritionally well-balanced, low cost, and it looks and tastes good. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.